Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be quite a bit different. Um, it'll be nothing related to poison firmware or programming. However, it will be related to digital technology and digital storage. So recently I dug up an old Android TV box I had. Um, I installed Linux on it and I set it up as a server. So we can do this exact same thing in Android without much modification at all. So today's tutorial is going to be turning your Android TV box into an SSH server for cloud-based storage. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you want to go to the Google Play Store. Um, I don't have my device connected at the moment, but um, I can show you online. Go to the Google Play Store and download this application. It's called SSH Storage. What this does, it, is, um, it installs OpenSSH Server on your device, allowing you to turn your device into a server. Once you've downloaded that, go ahead and open it, and you'll be greeted with a screen that's exactly like this. Um, two things I want to tell you. Up here, where it says stop and the finger's clicking, um, if you open this application and it says start, click start so you can start the SSH server. Once you click start, this will say ready. Second, what we want to do now is once you press start and, it, and the server's ready, you want to get your IP address from here. This lists your IP address. Um, I've uploaded a folder with some tools and a script to make this as simple as possible. Um, it's quite simple, so I'll put this in the description for downloading. You want to run the setup server batch file. You want to input your IP address here, so in my case 192.168.1.107. Press enter. Um, it'll give you your information here, as well as save it in the details.txt. And you notice 12 other files have been generated. And close that now. Um, okay, so let's explain this. These are details. So when I say cloud-based storage, I don't refer to just your computer communicating with it. When I refer to cloud-based storage, I expect every single one of my devices to be able to communicate with it. So you can do this on Android. You like you can do it from your phone. You can do it from your computer. You can do it from pretty much anything with an operating system that has an SSH client. So I'll be showing you the Windows way and I'll be explaining a little bit about the Android way. If you wanna if you wanna manage files on Android and move your files from your device to your server, you can simply download ES File Explorer, go to you can open the Quý thính giả xem tiếp chương trình sau quảng cáo, cảm ơn. Quý khách cần viết các ứng dụng di động, mạng xã hội, phần mềm quản lý, vân vân. Liên hệ ngay với DVMS qua email cell.dvms.vn hotline 028-360-028937 website dvms.com.vn Rất hân hạnh được phục vụ quý khách. You can open the, the, the bar on the top left and you can click network. Um, from then on you can click add and it'll ask you for uh, if you want to do um, FTP, SMPT, um, SFPT, all that sort of stuff. You want to choose SFPT. And you want to set your IP address as this, yours will be different obviously, your username as root, your password as admin, and the port must be 2222. You save those details, um, and from then on you can access your files that are on your server, on your, on your mobile phone, and you can move files from your mobile phone to your server. Um, a little bit more about these files. So what this does is, this is exactly the same as what I was talking about on the phone. It's a cloud file manager, it's just a script that I made, and what it does is it opens a it, it, it just opens a it opens a host where we can move files back and forth. I've already had to play around with this to make sure it works, but um I'll delete them. So now we are we are connected to our device and say for example we want to move a file over. Well let's just start with making a folder. We'll make a folder, we'll call this folder um, my cloud and that's a uh, folder on the server we'll go to tutorial folder and we'll we'll back up a we'll back up an image to our server that's done so now it's stored on our server and that's pretty much what you can do with this is where you can download files as well say for example I want to download this to the desktop just drag and drop it's a pretty handy feature and now I've got the desktop 
So that's a bit how it works on the computer. What else I've done is I've created a script called Cloud Terminal, which allows you to manage your cloud with a terminal interface instead of having a user interface. So, for example, uh, let's make a directory called um, pictures. Nothing less. And you can see on our cloud that we've got the My Cloud folder and the pictures folder. That's pretty much what you can do with this. Um, I thought this was a really efficient way to uh, make everyone's personalized cloud-based cloud storage. Why? Because these devices run off 5 volts, they have quite powerful processors, their RAM is, it's crazy, just for, just for a 5 volt um, input, they, these devices are extremely powerful, so why not put them to good use? I've got plenty of them, so who knows, I might even connect them in, in an array of devices and turn it into a, a super storage. Who knows, but anyways guys, thanks for watching the tutorial, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you put this to good use. Thanks.